Hey guys, uh, in today's video, we are going to basically uh, make a video on how you actually first manage OS 16 to the Google Pixel XL. Um, on logical mode itself, um, this is really running Android 9 on the stock, stock uh, Google, Google around itself and uh, I should say that it's pretty good and nice. So ultimately, if you want some different experience or try out different ROMs, uh, Lineage OS is one that you can actually go for. If you want something, like for me itself, the only reason I would go for Lineage OS would be either the customization in terms of the dark mode, in terms of the style colors and stuff, as well as the... Uh, <clears throat> I can actually choose a JET package that I want. Normally, I'll go for a Pico package, which is the lowest one, and I'll just download whichever app that, Google app that I need to use. So I won't actually fill it up with such a, such, uh, such a big uh, set of uh, Google apps that needs to be installed in here. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's just check what they need to need to be done in order for us to start the. Uh, so ultimately, first of all, we'll need to make sure that we enable. Uh, what do you call that? Your. Let's go to your system update. Uh, no, your system update. Uh, they have something there. So I need to go to your about phone. Then you need to go to your build number. Then you tap like. Time for developer option. So you enter your pin. So once you are a developer, basically you go to developer option. You need to enable allow OEM unlocking. Enable. Then you need to en enable USB debugging. And uh, that's all you need to do on this end, right? And of course, end of the day, uh, one of the things that you need to think about is to remove all your uh, security lock. You know, do flash so just just choose none remove so once you have your screen lock remove your uh, OEM unlocking this uh, enable your OEM uh, USB debugging enable so you are ready so what you need to do now is plug this phone to the computer and we'll move to the computer for the rest of the setup okay when you connect to the computer itself uh, you should be able to see a message here so you need to check the message and always allow and press on OK Okay, once that is done, we will move on to the computer for the rest of the setup. Okay, so once you have connected the device to your computer, uh, you will navigate to the um, directory where you have your files stored. Right, um, so of course, on a day, first thing first, you need to make sure your device is connected. So you do ATP devices to ensure device is connected. Like say now it's connected. So next thing you need to do is to boot to fast boot. So what you do, how you do that is to do an ADB. Uh, reboot Boot Order So once you've done this, your device should be reboot to a fast boot mode So once you're in fast boot mode, you'll need to do a fast boot Flashing uh, fast boot devices first to ensure device is connected Then you do a fast boot flashing unlock because um, all the Pixel devices actually uses this command rather than the VM on top, which I think maybe they have a newer version and stuff. So you should do this, and please remind it when you do this, your data will get formatted. So you basically, uh, when you do an unlock, you will basically start everything from scratch. So yeah, please make sure you back up your data if you haven't do so. If you have backed up your data and you are ready to proceed, then you just do a password flashing unlock. Uh, then please follow the instruction on the phone itself. Okay, so once you do a fast boot flashing unlock, you should see this screen on your Pixel phone itself, Pixel XL. So what you want to do is to do unlock the volume. So you need to actually do your volume up and down button to select which one you want. So I go to yes and I press on the power button to unlock the boot loader. Right. So now the boot loader, basically I think they are doing the uh, factory reset stuff. Uh, so you just need to wait for the uh, <clears throat> process to complete from there. As so you can see now, when I press the power button, there isn't any any kind of uh, uh, response anymore. So I think they are actually cleaning up the device now. So we'll just wait for the process to complete before we move on to the next step. Okay, as you can see now, the device is already uh, rebooted into fast boot mode and it's already unlocked. So from here, you can do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected so next thing you want to do is to 
to boot in the recovery to do your flashing. So ultimately what we want to do is do a fast boot. Boot. Do the RP recovery. Just to boot into it for you to do your flashing. And you can't actually have a permanent flash to your uh, recovery partition. So what you want to do is boot to recovery. So this will boot your device into recovery mode. Okay, so for the wiping itself, we are going to wipe them. At first, we'll do a format later. Then just type in yes. This will take a while, so let the wipe be done. When that is wiped, we'll go to start wiping other stuff. Okay, once the device wipe is done, you can actually go back. Go back again, then do an advanced wipe, you can wipe the system, then you do a swipe to wipe again. So after wiping the system, you can go back, go back, go back, then you go to advanced, ADB side load, and you do a start side load. So you will have basically start the side loading. So once you are done with that, we'll move on to computer for the side load. To okay, happen. so once you are done with the uh, starting the side load on your phone itself, so you can do an ADB devices to check whether it's okay so if you check now you can see it's connected as site load so from here itself what you do is do adb site load then you put the niche likely marlin.zip and you click on and then this, this will basically site load the package into the uh, site load and install the package within your phone itself so let's just wait this out it will take a while Okay, so once you have finished this, you can actually test your side load again, ADB devices to check whether you are still connected to the side load. You are now in recovery, so you will need to go back to your phone to start your side load again so that you can side load your GMs itself. So, ADB side load again. Then you start, start your ADB side load feature again. So, when you go to ADB side load, ADB devices. Then you should be able to see that you are running side load. So now we do our ADB side load. Uh, open GMs, right? Code package. So just do this again. And they will basically install your GMs for this. Oh, somehow rather we have the problem with the GMs version. Let me check that out. Continue on with the process. Okay, there seems to be an issue where you can't actually install GF now because uh, they are, maybe they are still detecting the previous version of uh, stock ROM or whatever stuff that is in there. So let us try to just reboot the device in the lineage first before we put in the GF package. So let's just reboot with the ADB reboot. This will reboot your device into Lineage and we'll check it out and see whether uh, we can actually put in the GM later on. Okay, as you can see now, the Lineage OS is booting, so let's just wait for the boot process to complete. Okay, as you can see now, the Lineage OS is booted up accordingly. So, what we do is just do as normal. Next, uh, next. Skip this. Next. Then uh, next. Then this one. Next. Next. Skip. Skip. Start. So as you can see now, uh, Linux OS is booted up. Um, if you check the version itself, they should be running the version uh, nine and right nine. And um, we need to tap on the build number ultimately because um, we will need to try to install G apps. So you can tap on the build number to enable develop options, uh, which is in your system, maybe. Advanced uh, develop options. So you need to enable Android debugging. Okay. Other than that, I need to allow this as well. Okay. We have unlocking is already unlocked. So ultimately, here you got. There you go, that's Linux OS. So the next step is that we will try to install GApp to see whether it works.
after the reboot else we have issues looking at the correct version because I don't think there's a 9.1 version for the GMs at this point in time um, so let's just boot on to the computer to try out the setup okay in order for us to install GMs uh, the next thing we need to do is to actually move ADB devices to ensure the device is connected so once it's connected what you need to do is do ADB reboot boot loader and go into fast boot mode so once your device is booted into fast boot mode, then you need to boot into custom recovery again. So now what you need to do is do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected. So do a fast boot, boot TWRP. So once you booted into TWRP, you need to enable any side load and side load your uh, image or your Android image. So once you are booted into recovery, just go to your advanced ADB side load and enable side load. So once you have enabled side load, you can check ADB uh, devices to make sure that you are connected via side load. So as in now it's connected. So you can do ADB side load open G apps underscore open underscore G apps. Let's do it with a Pico package. Um, enable Pico. Okay, then let them do the installation. Okay, so somehow rather it works now. So what we need to do for this one, uh, Pixel XL itself, is once you have done with the lineage OS installation, you need to actually do a reboot, uh, a fast boot. So you need to actually boot back, let uh, let the lineage OS boot into the lineage OS, then unlock it again and everything. And do another round of uh, ADB reboot boot loader to fast boot again, and only then you flash your open GMs. Then it will work. Else, somehow rather, if you do it together on the first run, it will detect that the um, that you're running a different version of ROM, so you can't actually flash the GMs for this. So once it's done, um, you can go to the phone and and check to make sure that the the uh, setup is done correctly okay, your site load is completed if you look at the phone itself the message everything is done so what we have to do is to do a reboot system now so you can actually just click on reboot and then on install and yep you get rebooted and we'll check the results after that okay as you can see now the device is uh, done rebooted and you can check whether the play store is there as you can see now play store is installed this is the Pico package Okay guys, so that's all I have for today. That's how you install the Nitro OS and open G apps or G apps into your XOXL. If you have to experience a different kind of uh, like ROM, so that's why I said because for this one they all had it. What I actually wanted this is the live display and as well as your some of the like, system style color you can actually change the dark mode to black. Right? How come the thing is automatic style dark? So you have a dark mode. Yeah, so that that's one of the reasons why I think like it takes Google a bit too long to get a dark mode. The phone itself, like, you know, um, this one can go back to default. So the default will be not black, they will be a bit like greyish color, which looks nice as well. Okay, so that's all I have for today guys. So um, this is the way you actually flash uh, Pixel XL uh, to the uh, as well as and stuff. So if you like the video I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. And please uh, subscribe and push the notification bell for future updates. And, um, and that's all I have for today. Any question? Please leave a note down below in the description and the comments so I can get back to you guys. And please stay tuned because there will be another video on Pixel XL on how you uh, revert back to the factory stock settings for Pixel XL. That's all for today, guys. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.